This is my room. It's kind of messy. I have a countdown to my birthday. Because, yeah. And then I'm on 10 shots of testosterone. I can keep track. Just because I'm transgender and I'm a boy does not mean that I can't do feminine stuff. I'm like, I don't need to convince anybody anything because I know who I am and I'm gonna stand my ground and like, I'm just gonna be myself because there's nothing else I can do than be myself and I wanna be happy. Some of them are thinking, well, why would you start Riley on um, testosterone? Because, you know, he's 15 and you shouldn't make those choices. They should wait until they're 18, you know. People have those thoughts, but it's, it's a choice we've all made, and it's for, um, we, we want Riley to stay alive. So we will do whatever it takes to do that. Room to Grow is a new show all about queer youth, their allies, and their families, centered in Portland, Oregon. Matt and I worked on a project together uh, about five, six months ago, and when he told me this idea about making a documentary series that, that's about LGBT youth that are trying to figure out who they are and trying to navigate through all the, the trials of being a teenager, uh, it spoke to me immediately. I met this awesome youth chorus here in Portland last summer and kind of fell in love with them. And if you know the second verse, go ahead and try it right now. And just the experience of being out there, hanging out with them, going to diners, watching them like be best friends. It was so like inspiring to me to see that that's happening because I just didn't have that when I was a kid. We've got over 20 different schools represented in the group, um, probably eight different school districts. Um, this, is a, this creates a, a, a meeting place where these kids wouldn't necessarily run across each other at all. I just want them to find through this music to be able to find their own authenticism, through their own authentic voices, be able to speak their truth. And if we can get that done, it's, it's going to be a success. Remember you belong to me, you'll be back, time will tell, you'll remember that I served you well. Can you help You guys go ahead and go. I'm serious. I don't want to have to It tastes good and I'm not going to choke it. When you are not able to express your identity, you have one identity here and you have to go somewhere else for another identity and you cannot be whole and be yourself, it causes damage. We know the consequences of um, people who are not accepting of themselves, you know, and who are not accepted by their families. So Matt and I have already started shooting, and I've had a chance to meet some very brave amazing, fun, uh, inspiring youth. I'm not giving away my shot. I am not giving away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. <laughs> when I was 14, I came out. I so. thought he was breaking me. I was like, are you serious? Like, are you yeah, breaking yeah. me? <laughs> yeah. And then after two, and after that, not two months, but like 
like a couple weeks later, I'm like, he would have told me if he was pranking me by now. So. Yeah, <laughs> this must be real. I didn't give it time. <laughs> yeah, I give it. I was like, but I'm in a like, week, he's still gay. <laughs> being nervous we were for him. Ready to like leave, you know, family off to the side. Yeah, exactly. If, if these you're people not don't accept our son, you could just to, to heck with them. We're, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and some of those, some of those people that we said that, you know, we're not gonna name any names, but to to that that we thought maybe that might be a reaction. It just blew us away, you know, and they, and they, um, it was people, the opposite. People are more upset that our daughter's vegan. Yeah. Than <laughs> our <son's> <laughs> I think they question our parenting more there. Yeah. Than. Pascal tell you that he was, he was teaching Isaac to waltz. So this is the result of Stiff, he's going. I haven't seen any feet getting stepped on yet. I can't say that I would, would have ever expected to, to have my son dancing with another boy in the backyard, <laughs> but it's it's pretty cool that you have somebody that you can feel close to and share that young love with. I've never seen that before. <laughs> My dad is like the only family I have now, besides my blood brother, Eric. And um, Eric found it weird that I wore makeup at first. It was really a jarring experience for them. Uh, my dad did too. He actually found it weird that I was gay at first. And I said, oh, actually, no, I'm dating a woman. And he said, but she's a man. I said, no, she's transgender. She's transitioning from male to female. And I've been with her now for six months. And I was like, but she's a man. You're." Still dating you're still a gay man i said no i'm dating a woman if it's going to be technical i'm in a heterosexual relationship like zero one damien and i went to the photo booth and the photo booth camera was so small and so cramped that we weren't able to get any actual good photos so we we're all just like is it we're like is it starting we didn't, and then it just took four quick flashes so we panicked and had to make like last minute flash um uh poses and then she's like, yeah, I kind of hate these. I was like, honestly, me too. And she's like, okay, well, we'll keep them since we hate them. <laughs> so we kept them. Hello. Well, then I'll let you go so you can go with Mina and head home. All right, I love you. I love you too. I'll see you later. See you later. I'll text you in a minute. Okay. Bye. Bye. But not every kid is lucky enough to get to go to Bridging Voices. And there are lots of kids living here in Portland who are transitioning from homelessness, um, who are trying to reconcile with their parents, and we're gonna meet some of them too. I don't know, being homeless, people don't see you as humans. They don't see you as someone worth time, you know? They don't see me. <laughs> couch hopping right now I, what my heart wants is to be in a house like have a job I want to be working I can work I'm young and able I want all I want all that but as of right now it's hard to get there because it, it doesn't just happen overnight if it doesn't happen that means I gave up you know and I won't give up on my life Room to Grow is also interested in the current climate for communities abroad. In my home, like all the gay words are still like a little bit swear words. It's totally normal. It's a normal word. It's not a swear word. And it's kind of hard because I'm just like, yeah, overall, gays are fine. I'm cool with that. But when it comes to me and my friends, it's like, no, mm -mm. no, you can't be that. 
like schools, they really should educate us more. Because, like you guys said, it's like straight people, gays. I don't know what's next. Wait, I do, but I don't talk to you about that. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to know. So you don't become that. Okay? <laughs> There's a moment in a kid's life when they become aware of who they are, and it's vanishingly brief. Uh, if we're not prepared to accept any reality or any identity that our children might assume, uh, then we're essentially unprepared to guide them to adulthood. We should be to the point now where we're not sweeping things under a carpet and making people feel as if this is a dirty secret. Well, let's embrace it and talk about the responsibility of this special thing about you. Anything that's based and built on love, it always stands because it conquers everything and it kills all kinds of diseases. My hope is that people watch Room to Grow uh, no matter what their gender or sexual orientation is and, and, they, and they care about it. These, these youth, and, I, and, and I, I know they will. I know they will. I want every kid that watches Room to Grow to know that they are not alone, and that there's hope for them. But we are a fiscally sponsored project, meaning any donation is tax deductible, so that we can offer the show for free. So that any kid that needs to watch it, or family, has easy access to it. These kids are doing it right now for each other. And they're already finding out who they are, they're already saying who they are, and gosh, I, if that's not inspiring, I don't know what is.